Siouxland Oral Surgery, Dr. Lou George, and you've brought some show-and-tell people today. Would you sh- share who this guy is that played baseball? Absolutely, Bill. Good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, I've, I'm honored uh, to bring along uh, my good friend and, in my opinion, the best uh, baseball pitcher in the major leagues, and I'm proud to say a patient now, uh, Dwight Doc Gooden of the New York Mets and New York Yankees. Dwight Doc Gooden. Can I call you just Doc? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, you came for a birthday party, but you made a little stop in Iowa before you got here. It must have put you in the mood for this guy who is a crazy <laughs> baseball fan. Oh, he's incredible. Uh, and I'm, I'm honored, like he mentioned, to call him my friend. If you had told me 15 years ago I would say a, a, a dental guy <laughs> yeah, was my friend, I, I would have thought you was crazy. <laughs> but, um... No, I was in Iowa. Was playing in a charity softball game at the Field of Dreams where Kevin Costner shot the movie. Uh, we had to come out of the cornfield and do all that. And then um, his wife contacted my agent about being a, coming to the surprise birthday party. And so I said, "Yes, we would do that." And so I came to the birthday party, met him and his family. Very nice people. I mean, they welcomed me just like I was one of theirs. We hit it off right away. Um, I had a great time at his party. I told him I'll come back. He didn't think I would. I said, "No, I enjoy you. I enjoy your family." And um, I, this is my third trip back, and then to come to find out, I need a lot of dental work. And he was the guy. I mean, he made me feel real comfortable because as a kid, I had a terrible experience where um, the, the dental guy thought his assistant had gnawed me, but she really didn't. So I ended up getting my tooth ejected. Well, nobody came. So from that day on, I always had a fear of the dentist. But, um, I mean, he, he's helped me get over the fear. I still get a little nervous, but with him, I know I'm in good hands with him and his staff. And, um. It just the way things worked out, the way God have things you know, work out. Sometimes we don't understand it, but not only is he my my guy, my my, my dentist guy, he's also my good friend. Doctor Lou George, you don't know how lucky you are that uh, his three kids, boys, all start with D, and you've got a partner that is Doctor Dennis Miller. You're Doctor right. Lou George, so you should feel very fortunate that you're able to help him now. What are you going to be able to help him to do? Well, uh, we uh, took out some uh, teeth on Doc and uh, going to be doing a little bone grafting now with some implants. And then he's going to come back and have those implants restored uh, by my good friend, Dr. Mark Birdall of Sensational Smiles. So between the two of us, we'll keep uh, the third Doc, Doc Gooden, out of trouble and uh, get him back uh, uh, some nice teeth uh, and, and uh, good confidence regarding that. Dr. Birdall, you're going to be doing some work with uh, Doc. What's your thoughts? My thoughts are it's exciting to meet this uh, gentleman, uh, all the history that he has, and I'm just very honored to have the opportunity to help uh, Dr. George in helping Doc getting uh, his uh, bite back so he can chew uh, all the good foods that are coming the way this summer with the barbecue and all that good stuff. I'm going to give him some confidence back and hopefully give him the opportunity to uh, see dentistry in a different light than he has in the past. One of the things Dr. Lou and Dr. Dennis talk about is working with athletes. They talk about the fact that uh, make sure you get your glove up. You know, that that's a, an important thing if you're playing baseball, whether it's uh, the Cleveland Indians or the Yankees or uh, that other team that's on the other side of New York, <laughs> the, the Mets. Oh, yeah. All right, now. <laughs> Mets first. Mets always first. <laughs> but... Injuries in sports do happen, yes. and it is important that you have a team that can make sure that your smile is good. Your smile's good today, but it's going to be even better. Yes, that's most important. Like your mouth, to me, is your foundation. And now that I'm a retired baseball player, a lot of my pub, a lot of my work is dealing with the public. I think it's very important to have a good smile, have a good attention, and also it brings confidence. We have that, and I have a lot of trust in these two guys, and I'm looking forward to them, you know, putting it together and we working together as a team. Sioux Falls, South Dakota is a long ways from Tampa, Florida, or uh, the places that you've played baseball. How do you find Sioux Falls? I find it, um, I like it. Nice people, very nice people. Um, and like I said, I met Dr. George at the birthday party. I met his family. I met a lot of his friends. And I've never been here before that time. And I didn't know what to expect, but I love it. And like a lot of times now, like my family say, you on where? <laughs> 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 and I'll tell them, 
a lot of my ex teammates, I, I put them on the phone with the guy, and they're like, well, it's not, what's he doing out there? There's no black people in so. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but to me, I, I don't see color. You know, I was raised with a good family, and um, we're all brothers and sisters, and these guys make me feel comfortable. Like I said, they help me get over my fear, but not only did I come here to get work, I mean, I met genuine people. These are my friends, and like George, he came to my thing. I had a city for a couple of weeks ago, and with him, I call him family. And so uh, it's very rare this day and age that you can meet people and you get along and you click like that, besides on the business part. And so um, I'm just very fortunate, very fortunate to have you know, good people in my life. He's Doc Gooden. Uh, did he tell you that they also work on uh, tiger animals <laughs> I saw that. at the zoo? <laughs> Does that bother you a little bit that they may, they mix, they mix you up? <laughs> no, that's good. That's he's very talented, and um, I I, I gave him his nickname, Doctor Doolittle. Ooh, <laughs> you know, the movie. You know, once once I saw that, but um, no, he has a lot of talent, man. And the, and the main thing I admire him, he has a good heart. He's a good heart, and his family has a good heart. Very good people. So. Dr. George, we've said all the nasty things we could about you. You know, we tried to get him over to Dr. Dennis, being that his boys are named with D's, your daughter's with A's. Yes. So it's it's interesting to be able to look at that. But uh, I know you appreciate this patient, and you appreciate all your patients. Absolutely. This is uh, this, this is something that, uh, as an, an oral surgeon, uh, we're, we're privileged to take care of so many folks and uh, meet so many interesting people every day. And a lot of the stories, like uh, Doc had said, are very similar. People come to us, they're afraid, they're nervous, they've had bad experience, and we get a chance to, to turn that around for them. And uh, all the great dentists we have in the community, uh, our many friends, like Dr. Birdall here, same approach, taking care of people, taking care of the person first. It's not taking care of the, the, the dental issue or concern. It's, it's getting to know folks as people. And so, uh, Dr. Uh, Miller, my business partner, uh, we're, we're very uh, f fortunate and, and, and honored to have folks um, come to us from down the street and very fortunate to have folks like uh, Doc Gooden here come all the way from the East Coast to visit us uh, for treatment. And, um, you know, Dwight Gooden is the reason I became a baseball fan. So here I am all these years later having the opportunity to help him with something it's just, it blows my mind. It's a, it's a blessing. They're behind the Cardinals this year. I got my Cardinal tie on. I see my, that. That's my very car, nice. Cardinal watch today. So, you know, <laughs> but I do appreciate a good baseball player, somebody that has spent all the time. You still believe in the game. You still talk about it. What are you going to tell people about uh, Dr. Birdall and uh, Dr. Lou George? I think the main thing, like, like, like he, he mentioned, not only are they there to do the work, they're there to make you feel comfortable because it's like different people come from different experiences, different backgrounds, and like myself having a fear. I can tell you firsthand, if I can come here and do it and be comfortable, anybody can do it. Because my mom, and I'm not embarrassed to say it, my mom, before she passed away, she actually bring me to the dentist as an adult, as a professional baseball player. Wow. So as my days, she'll bring me to the adult. I had that much fear, but here I am here by myself. And, um, and my sisters, they still came, but they go, you'll be all right by yourself? You'll be okay? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'll be fine. And, um, you know, I look forward to it. And, and that's something that's, I tell you, I come a long way to this, but it's because of these guys. They make me feel comfortable, and they go through each procedure. They tell you exactly what's going to take place. They make sure that you're relaxed as a person, that you're in good hands. And um, I, t I recommend to anybody to come here, and it's worth the trip to come here. You have to understand that's very humbling for all of us to hear that, and Dennis would agree with me if he was here. And I know Mark does, Mark Bird all here with me, that uh, here's a guy who's not, a, not afraid at all to face the heart of uh, a batting order uh, in the World Series and <laughs> ring them up, strike them out, no problem, sit them down. But here he is, you know, nervous to, to walk into our offices, and we just kind of, you know, think of ourselves as normal average people. And so that's very humbling to, to hear that and that, uh, you know, we could make a difference in, in his outlook on the profession of, of dentistry and oral surgery. Dr. Lou George, uh, Dr. Mark Birdall, and Doc Gooden, thanks for visiting. Make sure you open your mouth. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if they say they want to rinse it out, let them rinse. Let them rinse, yes. Oh, he's, he stays on me. He calls, did you rinse? Take your meds? 
Very important. Make sure you take care of that. That's just good, though. It stays on me with that because a lot of times those are the important things that we take for granted. And if you're getting that type of work done and those guys put in the time to do it, um, you have to take care of yourself afterwards as well. When you look in the mirror after they finish with you and you see that beautiful smile, I want you to think about what he has done and what you've just done for dentistry as well, for all those kids that were scared. And your mama, she'd be proud of you today. Yes, definitely. She's she's smaller right now. She can't believe it. She's tickled to death. She don't have to hold her little boy hands anymore because I'm in good hands. And I recommend these guys to anyone. Whether you, no, no matter where you have to come from, you have to go somewhere where you're comfortable and they take care of you. And they care about you as a person first. I think that's very important. God bless. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having me.